I'm making this video to demonstrate how to recreate the pattern used on Claustrophobic Sting by the Prodigy. The original pattern was created using Roland's TB303. I'm going to show you how to do that using the newer model, the Roland TB03. So the first thing we'll do is we'll switch the unit on and then we'll go into original mode. And then the next thing we'll do is switch the knob into the right pattern position. And we're going to store this pattern in bank 4. So we'll clear this pattern off. And now we'll input the amount of steps in this pattern, which is 8. And now we're going to go into pitch mode. We're going to enter the 8 notes, which are as follows. F sharp. F sharp. F sharp, F, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F. So we'll come out of pitch mode and then go back into pitch mode. Now we're going to enter the transpose for each note. So the first note is two up, the second note is down, the third note is up, the fourth note is up. We skip the fifth note and then the sixth note is two up. We'll leave pitch mode again and then return. Now we're going to enter the accent and slides for each note. So note one is a slide. We skip note two. Note three is an accent. Note four is an accent. Note five is a slide. And again we'll leave pitch mode and then return to pitch mode. Now we'll select the tie mode button. I'm going to key in four notes, a tie, and then three notes. So now we'll play it and we'll see how it sounds. <laughs> So we'll switch it into play mode just to stop you deleting any of the pattern or overwriting it. And we're going to go to waveform and switch saw. And now if you look at the tempo it says 119 when I think it should be about 150. So we'll turn this up as we play the pattern again. <laughs> Now the last thing to do is adjust the control knobs up at the top to achieve your desired sound. So I'll play the pattern and I'll adjust these knobs. So then the next thing I'll do is I'll overlay this pattern on top of the original track to see how it sounds. Okay. 